Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. Salam hamegi, khayli khush umadin. Be kanal YouTube man, esm man Seppi de hastesh. و اگر اولین بارتون هستش که اینجا هستین خیلی 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 به کانال من خوش اومدین That was my first time ever doing a Persian Iranian introduction But I felt like it was very fitting with the theme Because today, as you can guess by the title of this vlog I'm going to be trying out all the Persian weird snacks That my mom and dad and uncles and aunties and everyone who comes back from Iran brings As you can see there's a slight obsession with tavazul, so if you guys are from Iran and especially from Tehran then you know that tavazul is like meant to be the lit shop for dried fruits and nuts. I don't really understand the obsession. Um, we've got some nuts here. I think these ones are special from Afghanistan, if any of you guys are from Afghanistan. I don't even know how to get into them. But I literally always avoid these snacks. I never ever bother eating them because I feel like I won't like them. Iranians in Iran, I'm going to say this in Farsi. Um, like, when I went to Iran, everyone has a lot of food, and a lot of food, and a lot So in England, we don't really like have loads of main snacks that we have between our meals, but in Iran, they always bring you like fruit, nuts, dried fruit, all these things that I'm going to show you guys um, between your meals when you go to people's houses or when you first arrive they serve it to you with chai which is very fitting of the teapot that I have here and it's the classic old Esfahani Shah on the front I didn't put the polapaz here by purpose and this was literally next to the, my samovar so yeah my house is really this Iranian and we even though we live in London we are very very Iranian so without further ado I'm gonna get started on each of the snacks I'm gonna tell you what they are and I'm gonna have a little bit and give you guys a little taste test so the first one which is such a classic and you guys will be looking like what is this is called lava shack so you can get pretty much everything I'm showing you guys in these videos in like Persian stores like throughout like outside of Iran, like in London, we have so many Iranian stores um, that sell all these fruits. Like the ones that I know off the top of my head is there's a Tabazo in London, there is um, Emmanuel Patisserie, I think they changed their name, I can't remember. But like if you go through any like Iranian ish areas or type in Iranian, pa Iranian pastry shop, you'll be able to find these. Lavashak is dried raw fruit, so I feel like this bit was on the corner, so I won't have this one, but I'll have the next bit. Basically, I don't know how it works, I just know that they dry the fruit and they roll it out and it's kind of sour or you can have it sweet. This one's sour. Mm. It's really nice though. I think it's like in a berry flavour and kids love these. I'm still going on for a second bit. This is so sour. If you guys like sour treats, I really recommend this. It's also kind of sweet and tangy, and it's very soft, so it's not really chewy, but it depends which one you get. This is really high quality double shack, I can tell, because I've had the crappy one where it's basically like you're eating this plastic. Um, and also you have to be careful that you don't actually eat the plastic, because if you're an Iranian kid, please admit it in the comments that you've accidentally eaten so much plastic with these lava shacks when you were a kid. Okay, so addictive. We have dried apricots. So I think you get these in London, like normal grocery shops as well. But in Iran, they're really big, soft, and juicy. So I'm gonna take one that's already been opened. Um, this is probably the only thing out of everything I've shown you guys that I would regularly eat and like request. Just a look at how big and juicy this dried apricot is. So good. Sorry, my dog is watching me do this and it's not fair. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but that is my favorite. I could have so much of those. Hence why like, I basically finished this packet and there's like another backup packet. I would solidly recommend that if you are in a Persian shop, try the Persian version because it's very 
soft and fruity. The British ones, they're, they're not wet. These are like moist. I don't know if they dip it in like some sort of, um, in Iranian we call it shide, sugary, syrupy sauce, that's it. Um, but it's very, very, very sweet. As you can tell, my hands are so sticky. So next up is halva. Um, we have so many different types of halva. So we have a dark halva that we cook when people die. We give it to them and like, we hand it out afterwards as like a sign of respect. And this is like a dry halva. This is my dad's favorite. Any type of halva actually is my dad's favorite. My dad has the biggest sweet tooth and he's the one who buys most of these sweets like in our house. It's so bad. Shirini Aidam Uno as Iran Miyare Twi Rah Nesvisha Horde. Bad me you off that shekast. Charanadasha. So this one hasn't been opened. It says, I can read Farsi by the way, so I will read what this says for you guys. It says, Halvay Gerduye Mahsus Sefarishi Hoshk Barva Ajili. So this is Tabrizi, like my uncle Farshad, if you guys know. So it's from like the Turkish side of Iran. And it says that it's meant to be very um, dry and ajil is like nuts. So I'm guessing it's like a nutty. Dessert. Let's try this. I know I don't like this. I've, I literally feel like I must have had it when I was a kid. And I didn't like it. Yeah, I just, the smell just doesn't appeal to me. I'm gonna break off a piece. Oh, it's already crumbly, look. Oh my God. This is so nice. Wow. This is so good. I'm still loving. Okay, these are all surprising me. Now I am upset that I know we have these in the house because I'm going to eat them. It's like a very moist and crumbly and nutty biscuit. Like really nice. Oh. So what else do we have here? Oh, bags and bags and bags. And I'm telling you in the closet underneath this, bags of walnuts because my mom is obsessed. So I'm going to eat through the the one that's already been opened. She has them for breakfast every single day. It's just walnuts. It doesn't taste different to like English walnuts. Meh, I wouldn't like specifically go to an Iranian shop to buy this, but it's really good. Good quality walnuts, just not anything different to your regular walnuts. What else do we have left in here? Oh, just more apricots and rosebuds these are for our chai so if any of you guys put rose in your chai we put rose and we put hell which is cardamom so next up is something that i've been avoiding um you know in iran in people's houses they literally just have bowls of like sweets and they're like in these packets and they're always the worst and the weirdest flavors as a kid i'd always fall for it i want to try it and then i learned through experience don't try it they all taste like crap this one is Coffee flavor candy by Aydin. I'm already regretting this and I haven't even tried it. I had to get a knife to open this. Okay. Okay. So it's a hard candy. Please don't tell me something's going to ooze out the middle. Ugh. There's a bit of oozing. This is a solid no from me. I don't, it doesn't taste bad, but the texture is just so cringe. Uh, and just non-stop. It's like, when are you gonna stop? So, now that we're done with this basket and this coffee thing, we're gonna go on to the last things, the nut mix. This is the solid Persian nut mix. We have about a five kilogram bag of this under the cupboard, in the cupboard underneath, and it just gets refilled every time it's starting to look empty. In this, we have pistachios. We have this thing. I don't know what that is. We have, I think these are like pumpkin seeds or something. They're green. We have these seeds. I don't know what they are. Oh, and we have cashews. So we all know what those taste like, but I'll have a little munch. 
um, stuff doing with these like sunflower seeds these there's a technique okay look at that I just ate it empty in the middle skills I'm gonna write that on my CV the last snack we're gonna be trying is from Afghanistan my mum's lovely Afghani friend gave this got us this from Afghanistan so I think they're called chakala chakala I don't know and I don't know how to break them and I've never tried them I can't lie to you guys for me seeds just taste like seeds but this is how we break them we basically use the middle of one of our front teeth and snap through the middle and it took years of summer in Iran to master that skill so overall I would say my favorite is probably the lava shack and the dried apricots in second place is a solid halva that was such a nice surprise I will definitely be having that with my chai from now on the coffee candy was a solid no from me um, the nuts are just kind of nuts but if you do go to Iran and you are at someone's house, do venture and try some of these things because they are quite nice and you'll be surprised. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below for more fun, especially this Vlogmas where I'm uploading videos every single day for you guys. I love you all so, so much. Don't forget to check out my socials. They're linked down in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.